guys? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we are on the final free play for LEGO DC Super Villains. That's right, this is level 20. You canto, watch this, free play. We're going to get that 10x stud multiplier red brick. We're going to get that character token for Enchantress, all five mini kits, and of course, that poster location are also going to be found here. Now, we also get a trophy achievement called Crime Does Pay, and that's for getting the true villain in all of our free plays. So, hey, a uh, quick helpful tip there we got quick links down below in the video description but if you're ready to roll let's go ahead and pull up our map toggle over to level 20 you can't touch this and of course choose whichever area you need to which is the only area that you can go to haha -ha. all right so here we go we start off and we've got all these silver bricks all around us we're gonna switch to somebody with the silver brick breaking ability and take down all of these chains and things we're gonna rebuild them back up into a large makeshift fishing pole that fishing pole is gonna actually fish in the liquid hot magma and reach out oh it no it's not a fishing pole it's the claw Look at that, we're gonna go ahead and drop it in there. Hopefully we don't find any aliens in there. We're just looking for mini kits, that's it. All right, we'll go ahead and, oh, to the, yeah, hopefully that's got some cooling juice somewhere nearby. Oh, look at that, we'll go ahead and pick that up. And that is the first of five. Now over on the far left-hand side, we're gonna need that silver brick breakage again as there is some debris blocking our poster. We'll go ahead and step right up to the plate with somebody who can go ahead and get their graffiti on. And as it turns out, look at this, Heat Wave is one of them. Now, you guys have suggested a lot of players, and Heat Wave is probably on the list at some point. I honestly don't remember it being there, though, so it was kind of a surprise when it actually gave me the option to do that. Now, just to the right of that poster, there's going to be some more silver bricks. Break those on down and rebuild those bits into some sort of like a, it's like a weird tootie horn thingy. And we actually uh, use our telekinetic powers to bring down that air hose from up above. And then we're going to get our... Oh, and that's right. We're actually going to connect the hose. La, la, la. And look at that. As soon as it goes in, it spits out a bunch of studs as well as that character token. All right, we have got all of them. Now we're going to make our way down the hallway here. It does take us into a cinematic moment where it looks like they're wearing my wings. That's right, if you remember, my custom character, old HTG Brian, is wearing those very same butterfly wings. Well, I guess they're not butterfly. They may be moth wings or something, but regardless, we actually uh, see them fighting over it, and then they get taken out by some crazy crash and debris that comes off the screen, and they are gone, and they leave behind a fire and some, well, some bricks. We're going to actually put out the fire and fly up top, and up above all this madness, there is a mini kit just kind of hiding there, so we'll grab that right quick. And next up, we're going to go all the way to the end of the hallway. There's this giant mural on the wall. We're not going to pay attention to that, though. There's actually a gold musical note on the far right side. Go ahead and melt it down with your heat ray and then make your way back. Now, so there's one on the left side of the hallway and one on the right side of the hallway. And then there's one on the furthest leftmost point of the room. Go ahead and melt all those down and collect that manicat and we'll move on. Now we got some strong handles here, so we're gonna need somebody with a little bit of muscle to go ahead and rip that off. As you can see here, it actually gave us access into that back part of the room where there's a hatch, but we're gonna go over to this great and slip on through to the other side. That's right, look at that, we actually hit that true villain and got that crime does pay trophy achievement. Hopefully you got it as well. Next up, we've got this little hack point here where we need to get our hack on. And we can do that with Clayface, but Clay is not immune to electricity. So that is not good. Well, at least not good for him. We get uh, all rustled and tussled and lose a bunch of studage along the way. But luckily for us, we get some more and we are out of there. That's right. We flip that lever and we are gone. So what's we got here? We got, oh, it's Dropping a bunch of studs. Oh, bleh, another red brick added to our collection. That happens to be the 10X. Now, keep in mind that should be one of the last, if not the last red brick that you have unlocked. You don't need to actually purchase them, which is kind of weird. It is not required for a trophy achievement for the 100%. It is only required that you unlock them all in the level. So uh, you get to pick and choose which ones you want. I highly recommend using the stud multiplier ones and the attract studs. That's about the only ones that I plan on buying. I'll probably buy them all in our live stream that we'll do. 
which I still don't have a date planned for that just yet. But all right, hey, remember that little drone deployment hole? We need to slip a drone through and fly it up into the air and shatter that chandelier, which will then uh, actually open the door and reveal a little mutt here. We've got a robo dog that we got to take down, and I have a heck of a time trying to take him out. I finally third or fourth times a charm there. Once he is eradicated, we'll go ahead and build up these bricks here, which gives us a cosmic treadmill. Now, guess what? You guys have been cringing at my my mispronounced terms and names. That's nothing new, though. Uh, and, and as we dig up that doggy stuff, and I look, it's looking like a little doggy bag in the back there. We had to dig up some puppy chow and reveal a mini kit. But what I was getting at was is that uh, this, I keep calling it the speed zone. I was wrong. It's the speed force. On the final video, I get it right, guys. But that's all thanks to your guys' ridicule and uh, I guess... Uh, Corrections? I, I don't know. You guys have come through and helped me and edumacate me, as I like to say, on all these things of DC that I was unaware of. But make your way through the speed force and uh, not the speed zone. And we'll go ahead and collect all 10 bricks, which are going to give us the bricks needed to complete this puzzle on the far right. It, it creates some sort of like an organ, a color based organ here. And we've got two sets of notes. We actually have notes. In his hand, that are that, that's actually how we progress the story. Do not do those. Do the notes on the very top of the frame there. You can see it goes yellow, red, blue, yellow, green, red. Now all you got to do is just jump on the appropriate colors and you should be good to go. Now Gorilla Grodd's kind of making things a little bit difficult by standing in the way. Uh, we still got it though. It opens up the old trap door on the far right. And guess what, guys? That is the final mini kit. Now I was a little bit disappointed that there wasn't a trophy achievement for getting all of the mini kits. But that being said, uh, it still feels good to get them all in the bag, as we like to say. Now, uh, Gorilla Grodd was in the way, so I switched to a character with not as much real estate. You know, he, he made a better door than a window, that is for sure. And uh, basically, we just got to go ahead and get this puzzle solved by pushing the right bits at the right time. And then we go into the, the final battle. Da -da -da -da. At least it is for free play anyways. There may be some challenge stuff or free roam battles that we encounter, but uh, oh, it's Kanto. I, I love I love his little graphic. I don't know why his uh, typography was so appeasing to me, but it was. But uh, all right, so we've got, uh, oh, selfie time. Hey, you might have noticed that. That was actually our thumbnail we used. I tried to do something different. I wanted to showcase Kanto, but we already used that uh, little entry screen there where he was there and, you know, Kanto, watch this. But, uh, all right, he has this weird desire to spin to win. I, I'm not sure why these guys, uh, you know, again, I, I'm not sure if it's, like, the, the Lego game guys, the writers that were kind of lazy on determining, like, spin attack moves is, like, the go-to. Or if that's, like, a DC thing that I'm just not aware of. Like, when in doubt, spin to win. I, I'm not sure. Now, hey, you guys all, not all of you, a lot of you participated in a vote or a poll that we had over on our Facebook page. Uh, and it was actually really close. The, the, the poll was, do you guys prefer that I finish the level out like I'm doing right now? Or once we got the final collectible, would you prefer that I use the save and exit? Now, there is a handful of you that prefer that save and exit and are commenting down below. And ironically, the people who would rather me finish it aren't commenting at all. But there has been a lot of you that have showed up for the votes. And it was really close. Uh, I believe it was 43, no, 47 to 53 percent in favor of the save and exit so really close so i don't know that we're gonna change it just because of how close it was and there was about 300 people voted which 300 isn't a lot considering we have 92,000 subscribers but you know hey 300 was a lot more feedback than we expected to get so we were grateful for that and if you guys were somebody that, that has an opinion and didn't get to voice it feel free to leave a comment down below or make your way over to any of our social pages and just let us know i mean sometimes taking five to ten seconds to say hey brad we like this way you never know you might end up getting a game changing decision made that may uh make it better like like the quick links we didn't start our channel with quick links those were suggested by you guys now somebody else created that it's not like it was our idea or just a viewer that came up with it somebody saw another channel that had that done it and thought it was a good thing for us to add and we did and you guys seem to really like it so you know we are all about feedback and you know without it we're just kind of a bunch of weirdos that are just doing stuff on the youtubes whether or not you guys like it or not so give us that feedback let us know what's up uh, 
So yeah, okay, if you if you were a little confused on what's going on here, because I've been flapping my yapper, basically we've got a series of attacks that we have to uh, evade or take down. Once those guys are dealt with, we actually have to avoid these laser beams. And now we've got some electric panels on the bottom and things are not going my way. The first time it did this, the game actually controlled my characters for me. I could not jump, I could not move. I just ran around at the right pace and it worked out just fine for me. This last couple of times did not though. So uh, once he gets released from his triangular prison there, we'll go ahead and get up close and personal, give him the old cha 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 cha. And I like using Superman or somebody that can fly for that matter because you can kind of stay up and above his attack range as well as, uh, you know, you can just make a quick, easy attack to get over there. But hey, look at this. His depleter, or meter is depleted, and we are out of here. That is actually going to wrap it up for all of our free play itch. That is pretty awesome. Pat yourselves on the back if you've been following along. Or if, I guess if this is the first free play level you did, maybe you just finished story and you decided, I'm going to do level 20 first. That's a little bit weird, but you know what? Pat yourself on the back anyways because this one is done. Next up, we've got some mini kits. We, we, oh, first of all, we got that true villain. We got all them studs. and Oh, it's raining studs. Hallelujah. I don't know how many we just got there, but there was a handful of bluesies. We also got an editorial with the headliner of Kanto on there. We also got all of the, well, we got the gold bricks for getting the true villain. We got the picture perfect poster as well as all of them mini kits. And of course we got the character token as well and that red brick for the 10X. So uh, we got it all peeps, we got it all. Hey guys, hopefully you've enjoyed our free play series so far. We tried to get it out quick and efficiently for you. And you know, shout out to Tyler P for getting that guide out day one. That was pretty awesome. And of course, shout out to Warner Bros for hooking us up with a copy of this game. And that early access was certainly awesome as well. We'd you know, if you're out there listening, we wouldn't mind that again now. All right, as for me, though, that's going to do it. I got some free Roman challenges to do. So, as always, until next time. Can't touch this. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.